What's new in Android 12 Beta 5 which Google released yesterday? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in Android 12 Beta 5 which was released yesterday and we of course are on the Android version page here and if you tap on 12 a few times you will get to the easter egg. Take the clock to 12 you will get this new animation and now you can go back to your home screen press and hold on the empty space go into widgets you will see a new widget called android s easter egg and if you drag and drop it this one here is called paint chips of course you can resize it and i have already done that and bam here it is these are the paint chips or the colors being used in my current material u theme and if you tap on any of them it should open them up in a bigger preview and tap on it one more time and now you do have the option of copying it and sharing it as well and these are known as paint chips which of course do respond to your material you theme next up of course you can see the widgets are already on my lock screen yes you do get the new clock widgets and you get four of them so you can only see two right now let us press and hold on the empty space go back into widgets and here it is if you go into clock you do have four widgets this is the first one this here is the second one and of course you do have the other two and the last one is going to let you have any other city which you have set up to show up on your lock screen and you can get the time for that and while we're talking about the clock the clock app has been given a facelift and it now has the material you theme so this is how the clock app is going to look like have a look at that super cool animation effect on whatever option you select at the bottom now if i go ahead and try to say edit this alarm you will again notice that the ui has been given a material u facelift similarly if you try to start a timer and press on play bam here it is have a look at that animation of pause and play pretty cool isn't it and then you can of course delete it as well another app which has gotten a facelift is the calculator app and this is how it is going to look like now with the calculator app you can of course tap on the three dot menu on the top right and say choose theme right now i am using the dark one you can always switch over to the light theme in case you want to and if you want to have the system default that can also be done and right now system default is light and of course everything here responds to material you as well but the clock app has an easter egg also so if you type in this and say equal to yips keeping it real all the time that is what this channel is about and before i forget the apks for the clock and the calculator are linked in the description of the video they can be installed on any android device do note you will not and i repeat you will not get the new clock widgets and because we have already seen how everything is now material you let us go ahead and change the wallpaper to something else so that we can see the changes as well so let us go ahead and use this wallpaper and from star wars mandalorian and once it is set you will notice that everything has changed so again clock widgets have changed similarly your paint chips have also adapted to the new color scheme we can also open the clock app and the calculator so here it is calculator also adapted to material u similarly if i open the clock app this should also have changed there it is you can see the colors have adapted to material u on the clock application as well next up finally google is going to let you customize the at a glance and you can always press and hold on the widget go into customize and here are the settings for at a glance and yes before you tell me hey manji i cannot see anything well they're broken on pixels as well so google is letting you customize all these options and of course if you're worried about the missing weather on your widget i think that is a bug at google's end also 
so hopefully it will be back with the next release which i think is going to be android 12 stable next up those of you who use your smartphones to make payments control your smart home devices you know the power menu stuff is now gone with android 12 but you do have a small workaround which has been added with android 12 beta 5 so you can go into settings display lock screen here and you will see two toggles show your wallet and show device controls now i do not have any of them set up but once you set them up they are going to show up as icons on the bottom left and on the bottom right of your lock screen and last but not the least if you open your application drawer you will notice that the ugly search bar has been fixed this is now circular and system-wide search has been implemented yep you have system-wide search and another customization you have is if you tap on this three dot menu you can choose to always show the keyboard so now whenever i open my application drawer the keyboard is going to open up by default and here then you can search for anything you want to it is going to search within applications as well because this is system-wide search and as you can see with chrome i am getting the option of a new tab also but you can also go into preferences and see what is being searched or control what is being searched so you can control whether you want to you know search your shortcuts people settings tips all these things can be customized and there it is peeps that is what i found new in android 12 beta 5 of course i might have missed on something so feel free to mention that in the comments on this video and that will do it for this one hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you